Hello and welcome to Snowshoe. We're here for the finals of the Mercedes-Benz UCI Mountain Bike World Cup. My name is Rick McLaughlin and joining me today is a lady who needs no introduction, but let's give her one anyway. It is Pauline ferran Hello. your new world champion. So Pauline's promised to show me around the track today. Yeah, we are uh, going to see the track, so let's see. Yeah, and you're going to take it easy? Uh, we will see, I don't know. Okay, good, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right then, Pauline. Before I get too out of breath, let's talk about World Champs win then. Yeah. How big a deal is that for you? Because you've done a lot of winning, haven't you? But how big one was this? Yeah, I think it's my biggest win. Also because it was super emotional. Yeah. After the surgery and everything. So, yeah, it was so cool to win in Monsanto. We're going this way. Yeah. And it was a tough race as well, because you had some problems at the start, didn't you? Yeah, I crashed in the start loop with uh, Eva Lickner. And I was in the 20 position, so it was super hard to come back, but I did it, so I'm quite very <laughs> proud of. It worked out pretty well. So I just opened this corner. This is the first little climb on this track here in Snowshoe. Oh, not much grip. No. We had... You really have to adjust your, your gear before this climb. And a cheeky drop off. So yeah, last one of the year. And they've given me a world champion to do it with. <laughs> nice and easy. Really undulating, complex little track this. 3.7 kilometers long. And this is the first feed zone of the lap. As ever, riders. Can only get food, technical assistance here. Whew. It's cold, no? It feels like it feels like uh, this is going to be a fast race, Pauline, is that? Yeah, for sure it will be because it's also not a lot of moment where you can recover, so... Oh, look at this off camera. Oh. You Whew. see, it's constantly up and down. Yeah. But there's no, I mean, I said this at the start of the lap, there's no really big climbs, are there? No. No, but it's, you are always like, it's always up. Into the first. Or garden. Is this the meters gauntlet? Yeah, it's the first technical part. Oh, look at the roots coming through here. Oh, nearly. <laughs> nearly. This one is tricky, huh? Yeah, and there's not a lot of grip in there. No, it's it's slippery and I don't think it will dry, be dry because it's like water. I don't know how yeah. you put it. It's moist. Yeah. Is it is it pretty straightforward this track, Pauline, or does it take yeah. a bit of learning? Sorry? Do you have to, is there a lot to learn on this track? Yeah, for sure. You can make small mistakes and you can lose speed, so you really have to stay focused. You can go first. We swing back into the woods again. Yeah, we had a massive rain shower last night. So there is a bit of mud around. <laughs> Oh, the double! 
<laughs> Pins it. There's a lot of these fast straights here. Pauline's saying that the full sus is the one this weekend, Pauline, yeah? Yeah. This bit's good. I'm enjoying this bit. Oh, a fast section into some steep turns bit off camber oh, I've gone inside that didn't work Whew. this one is my favourite that bit's good eh? yeah it's fast huh? let's just do a couple of laps of that oh. You can see these lines forming as well through practice. Yeah. Riders are going to want to be out away from these big rocks. I just make pedaling that bit tougher. And here we go up again. Tell you what though, Pauline, one crash in there, and it's going to be carnage, isn't it? If a rider wants to, if you want to be out front. Yeah. Is it safer to get into those woods first or in the first group? Yeah, for sure. A shoe. I think it's better to be at the front. Yeah. You can choose your line and if you make a mistake, you can... Uh, yeah, just... Yeah, you can just do what you want, so... It's a lot different from Mont Saint Anne. Yeah. You need to be really powerful, I think. Yeah. Here I like, because you can see the rider in front of you. Yeah. And you can say, okay, I'm going to... I'm going. <laughs> full gas. What's been, I mean, I guess World Champs is going to be up there, but apart from that, what's been your favourite bit of this season? Yeah, Val de Sole. Val de Sole, yeah. of course. This last lap was amazing. Yeah. When Yolanda catch me and I thought, okay, it's going to be out, but finally I won in the sprint, so, well, it was a really magical moment. Was it, just watching you, it was just perfect the way you got in front of her before that last descent. Yeah and got into the lead. For sure, I knew that she, she is faster than me on the downhill, so I have to start first. So it was already one sprint before the downhill, and wow, it was super hard. Right, back into the woods then. Yeah. This is the enchanted forest. Oh, yeah, you can new cut. line. You can cut two times. <laughs> also here, look. You can see the guys here have done a lot of work in here. A lot of stone. All the dirt's just getting pulled onto on top of it. Which makes these little XC tires just an absolute treat to ride. Whew. So I'm talking about with those lines forming. Just a nice smooth rhythm straight through the gravel. Could punctures be a big thing here, Pauline? Yeah, for sure. Because you're going quite fast, aren't you? And that usually yeah. means more punctures. You have a lot of stones and yeah. If you are not focused enough, you can easily add a thread. Right, that's us heading back towards the race village now. 
You see, it's not very big up here, but it's constantly like yeah. up here. Yeah, I definitely think the big, the big message here is that it's going to be a very fast lap, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And you have to find moment to recover, and it's not easy. I'm struggling for that right now, yeah. No, you are not. <laughs> Just when we're talking about the weather as well, it is a funny sort of... It's quite humid here, isn't it? Uh, it looks yeah. quite overcast, but it's warm. And let's say... Yeah, it would be, I think, warm for the race, so... You also have to take in from your situation because it's... Well, yeah, it's hard. Second feed zone. As usual. Nobody here to give me a coffee or... You want water? <laughs> it's okay, Pauline. <laughs> I've made my own bed. Yeah, but it's a good moment for drinking. Oh, I should have probably had some water then, shouldn't I? One lap. <laughs> no. Men's training. Oh, there's Julian. Bonjour. Ça va? Are we? So this one is a bit tricky. A bit tricky? Yeah. You're not going to tell me anything more, no? Oh, oh. Whoa! Yeah. Really lumpy. All these big rocks coming out there. It's oh. like it's tricky. Yeah, that looked pretty sketchy. <laughs> You see like this side of the track then, really holding a lot more of that water. Yeah. But Pauline, tell me, world champs, last lap, what's going through your head? Wow, it was crazy. I was so scared to have a flat or to crash. And I was thinking, oh, I have... Oh, oh no, I've got a puncture. Really? Oh Whoa. no! So. It's the first one of the year. Right? <laughs> oh, that's a disaster. <laughs> Let's keep going, Pauline. We'll get down yeah, here. Yeah, you have to keep going because the fittings are just there, so. Right behind us now. Yeah. Oh, this is going to get embarrassing quite quickly. Go on, mate. There we go. The lads are through. Oh. Well, that's upsetting. Not genuinely. Oh. Come on, Rick. You oh, can the, do it. The unmistakable sound of performance. Right. Go on, mate. Anton Come Cooper. On. It actually feels really good, Pauline. I think I'd probably finish on this. Yeah. Go on, guys. I know. Ready. Is it okay? Uh, well, it's definitely flat, but I'm following you, Pauline. We can make it to the top, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure we can. How bad a feeling is this for you as a racer when you get a flat tyre? Yeah, it's because we're, qu we're quite far away, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's why this lap is challenging. Well, we just talked about the rocks, didn't yeah. we? But did you feel it? You I don't eat, think I did. You eat a stone or something? Yeah. Do you know what? I think I actually hit that stone that you flicked out. Okay. So it's kind of your fault a wee bit. Yeah, sorry. Quite selfish. <laughs> I genuinely don't think I'll be pedalling up here any faster with air in the tyre though. Whew. Yes, here we go. Yeah, we're That's it, finished. perfect. Perfect. It only has one more weekend to do this wheel. 
It's taking the hit for the team. How much the pressure did you have? Uh, about 20. I don't know if you can hear that noise, but it's the sound of all the cartilage in my wrist boiling and evaporating. This is so tough. It's because you didn't want to do the jump, no? <laughs> well, you think because I wasn't going to do the drops in the rock garden that I've punctured my own tyre. Oh. That's done. <laughs> Come on, Rick. Come on, guys. Bit of encouragement. Okay. Come on, I'm running. Come on. Come on. We can do it. No, I can't. Why lie to strangers? Right. Cool. <laughs> this section's really good. <laughs> oh, maybe you can run. I'll pedal for a bit, yeah. I'm worse at running than I am at pedaling. Come on. Allez. Allez le bleu. Allez le bleu. Whew. I'm going, Pauline. I'm putting the effort in. Oh, yeah. Powerful man, what? Oh, like a like a really old cart horse, <laughs> like a ginger cart horse. Oh. Is this track good for you, Pauline? Does it suit you? I think so. I don't know because I, I am still a bit tired from the... From winning the world championships. Yeah, so we will it's see. understandable. It is steep. So, here Rick is a world garden. It's also important because it's just before the finish line, so... Yeah, I think you have to jump. With the flat, with the flat front? Yeah. You think it's on? Go for it. Okay, I'm following you in, Pauline. Oh. You go first. I go first? <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh? You made that look really easy. It's not easy, but... Right, back on Pauline, Come we're going to make it to the end of the lap. Yeah, almost I, there. I've not done these all year not to finish the last one. <laughs> Tough or stupid, you decide. Oh, we're nearly there, right? Eh? Yeah. I'm going to ramp the speed up now, Pauline. Whew. Hole there. So you think full suspension because of the the ground, the vibration? Yeah, for sure. The grass is really bumpy, so for sure it will be better to take the full suspension. Why does nobody shout my name? Sorry? Why does nobody shout my name? <laughs> I guess you're the, you're the world Rick. champion, I mean, but... Rick! Rick, Rick, come on. Alayla Rick. So... These two corners are super important. I would like to apologise to the makers of this fine wheel for what is going to be left of it. So I know we have to sprint. Okay. Because I think... Okay. Okay, okay come on! Ah. 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 He's going to do it! He's going to do it! I'm not going to do it! Ah. 
I well. think she took it easy on me. <laughs> oh, Pauline. That was a good one. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It takes 24 minutes. 24 minutes with a flat front tire. Yeah, so Whew. I hope it will be a bit, a little bit less during the race. Well, you can find out if Pauline's right and if I've lived through the night on oh. Red Bull bike this Sunday. Don't miss it, last one of the year. Thanks, Pauline. Thank you. Oh. Merci. Whew.